from the hollers and hills of West Virginia. It's Heavenly Hills Homestead with another episode. Stay tuned. Right, guys we've got the sunflower here oh she's looking beautiful used a zip tie yesterday to finish tying her off up there just just got it tight enough to where it'll it'll be all right but she see there's enough gap there she can grow i don't know if you can see that but i left the gap <laughs> see the gap there the gap in there so she can continue to grow and push the nutrients up to her so, got a little bit of a kink right there where it kind of swags over. It's all right there. It's leaning a lot, but it's definitely over this wire. Yeah, the, the height of that is over the wire. The hair, we're going to show you what it looks like from down here. Kara Grace, I want you to hold my hand. Come on. You be beside the road, and I want you to hold my hand. And listen to Daddy. Got it? There she is right here. As you can see, she is way over that wire. Way over the wire. So you can see. Look, she's over the wire. Definitely, definitely over it. And I got one close to it right there beside her. That's close to the wire. Okay, it's probably about... Uh, I don't know, a foot under the wire, maybe. She's probably a foot and a half over it. If she wasn't leaning like she was, she'd be a lot taller. Okay, so she's leaning out in this way. You know, so she's got a bend in her. So if she wasn't doing that, she was set straight up. If that curve wasn't in her, she was straight up in the air, she'd be a lot taller than that. So I just gotta, just gotta take my time. Finish letting her grow out and uh, see what see where the tape falls at the end of the at the end of growing her. So at any rate, I mean, uh, like I've said here many a time, um, be the biggest one I've ever grown. Not too many people are growing them that big. That I know. So uh, anyhow, we're gonna show you some sunflowers here. Ain't they pretty? Starting to die off and die back. Uh, this week, what I'll do is I'll get in here. I'll pick this first two rows right here of these pro cuts and get them up and out and hang them up in the uh, cellar. I'll show you that uh, in a video. And then I'll plant my uh, two rows of painted mountain corn in here um, just to get it started. Uh, so we'll, we'll do that. And then I'll just continue to work my way back and uh and grab stuff you know just atomic orange corn and then maybe paint painted mountain corn again just keep on going as they die back i'll just keep going back and just pulling them up hanging heads pulling them up hanging heads and uh letting the heads dry out because I'm, I'm thinking that i'm gonna test the seeds before next year um we'll see if they if they germinate and everything and if they'll grow 
if they do then um, what i'll do is i know i have seed stock of those particular ones and i'll just keep them put up and if they won't produce then i know what i need to buy so it's pretty pretty easy so but they're all trying to they're all making and they're all starting to die back so it's the sad part about growing sunflowers they they just don't last long enough but there's some really pretty ones in here that i didn't plant that i'm glad they did grow and this right here look at that half and half that two face is what we ended up calling that flower so he's starting to lighten up on his petals. he was almost perfectly split down the middle but there's a darker one some beautiful sunflowers out here all right so let's go look at these pumpkins oh yeah real quick we're starting to starting to open up and sprout uh, if i can remember i'll try to get a uh, a uh, picture of what these look like the uh, snail vines okay and what it's a bean but i'm gonna try to get a picture of it and show you what they are when uh when they open up and stuff they're really pretty but a very 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 hard hard thing to get to grow so all right guys let's uh, let's get on to the next Okay, yesterday had a little bit of issue with this. So, 12 foot seven. 12 foot seven inches. That's how long this is. You see the tape up there? It's 12 foot seven. Straight down, okay? It's 12 foot seven, straight down. So, that's how long this board is. So we got that problem fixed there, Dad. We know how long the board is. It's 12 foot 7. So you know how much taller it was. So, yeah. I'll just have to yeah, guess from there. So There it is. I'm I don't know what that is, Kira. I don't know if it's a, I don't think it's a storm. I don't think, but I hear it too, but I don't think it's a storm. It's quite odd though, wasn't it? Yeah, I don't know what that is, baby. Maybe a jet, might've been a jet. Not a jet, okay. Well, like I say, I don't know what it is. You gotta be kidding me, man. Stay right there. I want you to come over here and get your feet wet. Where is this thing at? Yep. Okay, there it is right there. There it is right there. Got him out. All right, come on, get out of there. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, you just gotta be careful. Once you get stung by no bees. Whew. All right, guys, this here's the one that was, uh, that was leaking at the stem yesterday. Let's see what she doing today. Yeah, see, see how she's doing right here. She's pushing so hard she's got soft hang on oh, man I want to clean that out again okay clean it out and disinfect it look she 
She's sapping. Sapping a lot. Oh, it's right there. It's going to have to be cleaned out. Really good today. Okay. Do that. Clean it out really good. So over here, I'll take a look at this one in a second. Come on over, Kira. She loves looking at the pumpkins. You can step on them. They ain't going to hurt nothing. I got to cut them. Daddy's got to cut them off. This? Yep, that one and the ones in front of you. See these right here? I know. These right here ain't no good. Okay, here. <clears throat> good golly, there's a big old pumpkin in there. Yeah, it's big as you. It's bigger than you. <laughs> yeah. That's a whole lot bigger than you. Yeah. See what I'm talking about? Won't quit. Where do they all come from? Because they were picked good, I guess they've got. Good Lord. Spider, I hate spiders. <sighs> that thing's probably 10 pounds or better. Yeah. It's heavy. Just throw it. I'm going to, baby. That is heavy. I place way that if it ain't busts. Don't bust them way out. Goodness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Guys, it, I keep these pumpkins picked. And they just keep emerging. Now I know why the guys go them every year like this. Is they always end up having one or two that they find in the middle of the plant. Good Lord, I thought I got that one. I didn't. is key no i did not manage them very well after they got to a certain size they went nuts and i didn't care to fool with them no more man that's gonna be there's one there's another one there. every one of these has got split vines every one of them that I pulled today. They split. So they, they're they sucking nutrients from my pumpkin. I don't I like it. I don't know how to make... What was her name again? Huh? Piper. Piper. You want to name her Piper? Mm -hmm. Alright, we'll name this one Piper. That's Piper. Yep. Alright, let's go on to the next. Wow. Guys, I mean... Woo! I don't know, guys. This one here is, uh, hey, hey, you got mushrooms growing in my stuff. They say that's a sign of rich soil. I don't know, but dag on, guys. I can tell a big difference in this right here. Big difference. Mm mm mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Man, man, oh man, oh man. Goodness gracious. Alright, I might get a little wet. Let me clean her off here a bit. Okay, right, that's getting a little bit 
worrisome, so we'll get to that today. Hopefully it won't be hurt by any of the rain. Pumpkin grew good though. I'm very happy with this pumpkin. It's my best little pumpkin and did really good. Definitely want to grow her again. Love her shape. Color's beautiful. Great growing. So hopefully I can get those genetics into this pumpkin so that uh, so that this uh, plant would be a healthier plant. What, Kira? You're all right right there. I'm almost back. All right, on to the next. All right, let's go take a look at this one that's been quickly growing, catching up to the... Yeah, come on in. I got to got to take some of these leaves away from her today. Get in here and clean her all up. Come on. So she's looking good. Doing really good. She's almost tall as me. Yeah, she is. She's almost as tall as you. She sure is. She's tallest as that one. Yep. Yeah. Let's take a look back here. What you got? No, you can't take a look over here. Thing looks to be doing decent. Get in there and clean it out some today and keep her sprayed out. So that's what we'll do. Alright, let's throw the blanket back over. Let's go. On to the next. Right, guys, let's see what this one's doing. Yeah, she did something since last night. Mm -hmm. Looking pretty good. Yeah, hi. Looking pretty good. Oh yeah, see her? <laughs> she's looking exceptional. She's almost as big as me. Yeah, she's looking exceptionally well, isn't she? Yep. Doing what good. Color? Yeah, we like her, don't we? What color is her? She's white. Yeah. Yeah, she's the whitest pumpkin. All right, let's go take a look at blowhole. Yep. Old blowhole, huh? <laughs> You like blowhole, don't you? Yeah, she's funny. Mm, she's getting... She's not blowhole. She's... Warm. 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 Step. Step on it. Step on the worm. Okay. She's starting to try to turn the worms on us, so... No, oh, the worm's fine. Leave it be. Worms are good. They put stuff into the soil that the pumpkins need. So, anyhow, old blowholes looking pretty good. Doing good. I want you to notice something. It's not blowhole. Yeah. No. What's her name then? I'm going to name her Elsa. You didn't name the other one up there Elsa. They're both Elsa. No, they're not both Elsas. You tried to name that one Piper, and you didn't name that one over there Piper. So is this one Elsa or this one's Blowhole? No. That one up there is Elsa. No. Her daughter is named Elsa. This is Blowhole. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, because she looks like a humpback whale. And she's got a hole in her stem. Just Blowhole. Yeah, it's not. Once you notice this side here this is, is, is longer than this side. Rewind the video real quick. Look at the pumpkin that's up there on this main at the end of it and you'll see that that Sponge right side Bob. is again larger than the I left side i'd like to i like mike to weigh in on I that if uh, if you're watching mike um does your pumpkins off the 2261 do that do they get a elongated right side and the left side short yeah, look at the blossom in it's turned see how it's turned SpongeBob. okay <laughs> see how it's turned well, we'll look at that one again i guess real quick and uh and stuff so anyhow but yes real quick you can see that that right side is long and, and curved this way it turns that blossom like it does and i'll show you up here on this other pumpkin it's doing the exact same thing exact same thing so let's go up here and look at her one more time yeah, she's here's elsa sick. one more time see how see how she is that right side again going like this longer Shorter on the left, you can see the left. Is, She's almost as big as this you know, me. You can see the left again, holding back, turning that blossom. Let me get it in this end. So look, this is back up, baby. You can't keep on getting that for me. See, 
just like the other one. The right side's coming down long, turning that blossom end. See how it's turning it, and it'll push it that way, and this left side is short. So for whatever reason, the other pumpkin grew exactly the same. That, that right side come down long, and that left side stayed short. So, Mike, if you're watching, does, excuse me, does your 2261s put off like that? Grow long on the right, short on the left? Let me know. All right, here's the bushel gourds. Oh, yeah. Man, that thing is rocking. Let me see. Oh, that one right there. In comparison, they were pollinated the same day. Let me, same day. Let me take a look. And uh, you can see let the difference. Listen, here's you know, volleyball size or yeah. bigger. That one right there is um, not very big in comparison. But we'll keep it on just to, like I say, just to make sure that. Wow. That they, uh, we have a backup. Wow. There's, there's a small one there. Yeah, yep, there is. Here we go. And we're just, and what we're doing is we're just, every time these new shoots come up, we trim them. I just keep trimming, trimming, trimming. Come out here every day or two and just trim all these tips off. Just, just terminating them. And then if the, if there's any bushel gourds growing, I pull them. Yep. Can I smash it? I don't care. That pumpkin right there looks pretty good. Need to get it up on a board. I'm going to go show you something very, very sad here in a minute that uh, is aggravating, but it's just part of growing. Pumpkin. I don't care. Sit here. This one here, I want to name it Frank Frankenstein or the mother of Frankenstein, something like that, because it's got a Frankensteinish shaped head it's boxy Man, it's like a, it's like a box this one here it's trying to fill it out right here but for what she is she's a she's a tank of a of a pumpkin i mean super hard but this here it's trying to do what it can to to heal up and stuff but I'll be very honest with you. It's just, I think it's done. So, I'm gonna leave it on, but I think I think it was too far gone once I found it. Not yet. No, you ain't coming in here. This one here is the one I want to call Frankenstein, or the mother of Frankenstein. See how boxy it is. That's at uh, uh, 824 Hodge. Is what this is. That's what's growing up there in the yard. Is another 824 Hodge. So she's pretty cool. I like the way she looks. Pretty neat looking. So. Should have uh, should have invested some more time into these pumpkins, but man, with all of them, it's just crazy trying to. You just got to pick the best ones you want to go with and let them go. So, but uh, anyhow, next year will be a different year. We'll regrow some of these with their. Uh, this here is a pure 824 Hodge. I, I bred it to itself, so. We're good on that front. This one here is crossed with a 2261 Schmidt. Okay, so we'll see what those seeds do when you reverse them. All right, so let's uh, let's go on to the so, next. Like I was telling y'all yesterday, <clears throat> this was sitting right here at 75 gallons after like five minutes worth of rain. If you go back and look on yesterday's video, now it's filled up and overflowing. See? So... Uh, what we'll do today, or not today, it's done had a lot of water put down. So what I'll end up doing is then sometime this week, I'll fill this up with the Orca um, mycorrhizae again and get it stirred in real good and probably a little bit of fertilizer. And I'll plumb it up to the water hose and just sit it in there and let it feed everything. So that's, what, that's how I use that for right now because I don't have any kind of a tank or nothing so anyways uh, on to the next come on Wilby let's go Wilby Wilbur how you doing Wilbur Wilbur yep he's a good boy yep, yep, yep. he's a good boy yes he is good boy oh I hear you chili we'll get him some food here in just a second
Yeah, we'll give him some food in a second. All right, here's that 1378 new. Doing pretty good for what the plant is. I mean, you know, the plant's kind of banged up, beat up, and got pulled up by the roots and everything. Um, 727 Hodge is doing pretty good. It's right there. It's got that funky shape as well, but it's trying to grow out of it, I believe. Um, here is our giant butternut squash. And uh, we're hoping that we beat the world record with this thing. I'd like to, I'd like it to come on this way, touch this fence. If I can touch this fence and maintain what we got going on right there, I'll win. For sure, I'll win with ease. Put it that way. If if, if it touches this fence, I'll win and, and keeps that size all the way through. I'll win with ease. So. Okay, so I'm gonna go over and show you the the heartache and then we'll give some feed to the piggy piggies. Hey Chili Mac, you're doing pretty good. You digging up all them stinking rocks out of my yard. I like that. You wanna, you wanna keep on doing it? Oh yeah. mm, pigs are dirty. Hmm. Uh, 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 uh. Leave Wilbur alone. Wilbur, Wilbur's boss around here, ain't he? Wilbur's the boss pig. That's another 1378 new. Um, this right here is a, look at the stem on that thing. This is a um, 1673 and a half Bartimus on that ribbon vine. There's also another one in there, 1673 and a half Bartimus. From the ribbon vine, it's in there. I'm gonna show you the, the heartbreak. Don't ask me how, cause I don't know how it happened. But she aborted. She aborted. So, I have to cut her off here and move on to the next. Look here, she's splitting too. I don't know what happened. But she aborted. Come out here yesterday with Dad to show him because I was excited about this pumpkin. And that's what I found. It wasn't like it. And it was. So. It's just how it happens sometimes. We're going to get this stem cut off of here. And uh, get her get her on to the next. So there's, like I say, there's another one there and another one up there. But uh, it's not crossed with anything I wanted it crossed with. So, but we'll see what they do. Again, here's a 1673 and a half Bartimus right here. That's on its main right there. And then there's another one in there off of a secondary that's growing that I'm going to let grow. The watermelon, the watermelon that was hanging on the vine, on the fence line. I meant to show y'all yesterday, but I, I didn't. Anyhow, it it was hanging on the fence. And wow. it had fell off of the fence, you know, and it got too heavy and ended up feeding it to Chili Mac. And in fact, know. in fact, Chili Mac left the rind, some of the rind to it right there. So you can see some of the rind right there that he left. Wilbur ate the whole thing. So anyhow, you can see a piece of rind there. Well, that's weird. Looks like Chili Mac somehow got his rind too. He must have pushed his rind down in here and, and Chili Mac got it and stole it from him, I guess. That's his teeth. There's, there's the rind right there. So that must have been Chili Mac's rind and then he must have stole this piece from Wilbur. So anyhow, on to the next. What? Tell him, Wilbur. Tell him, Wilbur. Stay back up, Chili. You on my food, Chili Mac. Come on, Wilbur. Come on, Wilbur. Huh? Good job. I'll set it in there. Yep. Torrential downpour again. 
Can't seem to get out here and do anything the past couple days for all the rain. I'm not gonna complain, but we really kind of wish it would have done this, oh, I don't know, last month. That'd have been great. Did it rain like this last month? I'd have been super happy. Just so, so happy. Yep, but didn't want to do this last month. It just wanted to uh, not rain at all. It's done this all day. Every time it looks dry enough to go out there and try to hit a lick, it starts raining again. So I'm not sure how much of a video you're gonna have for the day, but we'll see what we can get done. We'll see, it might be a 10 minute video. Who knows? I really gotta get out. I need it to get dry so I can get out here and you know, kind of fool with the pumpkin stems and stuff that I got to fix. So, I don't know then. Gotta pick corn this week. We're gonna be picking the corn this week and uh, planting my uh, true gold corn over. It'll be this week. Um, pulling some sunflowers up and planting painted mountain corn and atomic orange corn. It'll be this week as well. So we'll see what we can get done between now and frost time in August or October. August. <laughs> so kind of running out of days there. Uh, that super sweet should have done been up and done. But it. Uh, I don't know, even with all the water I gave it and all the fertilizer I gave it, it just kind of just kind of took its time there. So hopefully uh, this, this, this other stuff, it, it should come up pretty quick. I think it's relatively a quick corn to grow, so we'll see. You know, you know when you really get down to it, you really don't have many months to grow here in West Virginia. Uh, it's not a very long growing season, really. It's uh, kind, of, kind of a short one. Um, especially if you get anything like we had this year, you know, with a cold May. You get a real cold May, a real cold June, uh, beginning of June, rather, and by the time it starts picking up, the yeah, next thing you know, you're already into July, and it's August before you start harvesting anything a lot of times. And then, um, you know, after that, uh, September, Usually you do pretty good in September, but then October is kind of a, a toss-up, whether it'll be a warm one or a cool one, and sometimes it's kind of a hit and miss, just in between kind of deal. You know, it's hot one day, cold the next, and hot and back and forth, back and forth, and it's like that until uh, until December really, and then then it uh, December's you know snowy and then warm and you know, a lot of times so. It's odd the way things happen, but anyhow, we'll see what we what we do get done today. If uh, if we can get out here and get anything done at all, we'll show it to you. And if not, whew, it makes me sleepy, man. And if not, well, this just is what it is. So on to the next, guys. That last rain has really did me in on this. See how bad it's arching that way? That way. That's bad. Bad, 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 bad. See the line? Tight, taut, whatever you want to call it. We're going to try to figure that out too. Whew. All right, guys, let's, Lord have mercy. The rain, the rain, the rain. Should have done this last month. Should have rained last month. Let's try to fix what we got. Okay, this pumpkin is 17 days old and it's like probably over a little over a hundred now, okay? Um, this pumpkin down here 
is uh um it was pollinated on june 21st okay and it, it had some issues with the uh with the right there on the stem and i've got it healed up and everything but you know you see there's it's still got that hole there and never fully healed up so what i was thinking was they're both on the same plant my thinking was it's secondary wraps all the way around here this plant this pumpkin secondary goes all the way through here and all the way up and through there and it's got tertiaries coming off of it okay so if i cut it off of the main or you know and and let let that pumpkin up there have all of this plant all of that up in there go into that pumpkin instead of trying to split it with this one that's only doing nine and like three quarter pound a day average all right guys <sighs> so this pumpkin here is doing really good talk to some people kind of a split down the middle so it's really still my choice because there's no clear-cut decision One guy that grows really nice, big pumpkins says, whack this one off at the main and let that secondary and those tertiaries feed it the rest of the year, which it's got plenty of secondary and plenty of tertiary. I mean, it's almost like a whole nother plant. There's like 150 square foot of plant right there that can feed this 400 pound pumpkin. All right, I mean, it's just, it's not getting much bigger. All right, I mean, it. The hump keeps getting bigger, but it's not, I mean, it's not really growing like it should. The other guy grew a 2,000 plus pound pumpkin, and he said it's probably not taking any energy from it. And if it's not taking any energy from it, then it's not harming nothing. All the energy is going up there to that one, so just leave this one on. It's kind of a conundrum because I really want to cut that stupid pumpkin off just in case, just in case that it could feed the other one up there and all this back in here, all those secondaries that's back in there, all these secondaries up in here and all that up in there will push that pumpkin, okay? Because that right there would give it another however much, you know, that it's maybe going into here. I don't, I don't know, okay? I don't know. So what do you do? What do you do? I just want to get in here. I'm going to cut this crap off. That's what I want to do. Ah, heck. I don't know what to do now. I was for sure that they were both going to say, sounds great, do it. See, it's kind of getting soft. Well, not really, I guess. Yeah, I guess it is kind of a little bit. I don't know. That junction's healed all up and everything. Yeah, screw it. I guess leave it on. Leave it on for the week. I'll just slam potassium to it and see what happens. If potassium fixes it, great. If it don't, by Friday, if this pumpkin ain't changed that much, she'll go to the chopping block. We'll chop her off. Sound good? Because I got to get in there and all these leaves in here, they all need to come off because they're all infected with the with the virus. <laughs> We're going to chop all them jokers off. And ate up and stuff. So. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's give them some protein or not protein, potassium. Call it a day, man. That gourd trellis looks horrible. One's been in this way, and one's been in that way. Oh man, what do you do? What do you do, man? Goodness gracious, look at this thing. All right, let's go get some. Uh, Let's we'll go get some fertilizer and pump them full of ferts tonight. Cow mag. I'm going to give them some cow mag and going to give them um, 0025. Change my mind. I'm not going to wait till Friday. I'm doing it right now. That's, that's four days. Four days worth of growth on that pumpkin. 
I mean, you got to think if that pumpkin starts picking up. Uh, it looks. Uh, I'll wait till Friday. I'll wait till Friday. I'll wait till Friday. I'm gonna say if you, know, if you got four days of growth on this pumpkin and it starts hammering away, then you know. Uh, ah. I hate this stuff I just I can't I can't do it I got I gotta know I gotta know what'll happen this storm's coming it's gonna be bad too it looks a lot darker in person than it does on camera I can tell you that which is very unusual <laughs> but anyhow uh, what I what I mean I can't take it no more I have to know I have to know that I did everything I could to push this little pumpkin up to a giant I got 60 days, roughly, and I could grow a massive pumpkin in 60 days based off of that one right there. Right. Four days is, four days could be a critical turning point. So, guys, everybody, let's let's say goodbye to Blowhole. She's not going bye-bye. She'll still have her secondary feeding her. She's got plenty of secondary all down through there, okay? But we're going to come right here. Mm, I'm gonna have to get a saw, I think. Maybe not. Okay. Alright. Let's see here. Keep on cutting. Keep on cutting. Mm, I wanna be careful not to separate her secondary. Okay, but I want this. I want her off the main. I should have used a saw. I should have used a saw, but I'm not walking back to get a saw. I'm not doing it. bit off. Neat grief. There she is. She's separated. Alright. There's my mane. Right there's my mane. Oh man. Y'all won't believe this. Y'all think them roots don't grow in socks? Look at that. Y'all see that? That that it, I can feel it completely to the bottom of that sock. That root grew in that sock all the way. All the way. Alright. She's completely off. So, okay, guys. Yep. Let's see if I can slide her back some to this way. If I can, that'll give her some room for the mane to lay down there. It won't be jacked up in the air. Okay. Do roots really grow in socks? You be the judge. You be the judge, huh? What do you think about that? Look at them roots growing in my socks. Oh yes, it works. It absolutely works. Tease them roots up, put them in a sock, okay, with your with your dirt and let them grow. They'll grow just fine. They'll grow just fine. Yep, I separated the main from this pumpkin. That's what I did. <sighs> we got a DAP 17 up there looking pretty good, so. We're gonna let this one just be a pretty little old pumpkin. We're gonna let that DAP 17 up there take us all the way to a winning circle somewhere. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. All right, guys. Later. Oh, guys. Got a lot of sapping going on still. See it? There's sapping there. I 
and that sits sap in there. It looks see how it squirts out there. So just clear the sap away. That's all I've been doing, just clearing it away. I mean, you can see it everywhere. Look at that. All this. Sap, 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 sap. See it? All over. It's just sapping everywhere. It's real slick. <sighs> okay, so. I'm just gonna take some of this solution and just spray it on there so maybe it won't rot. Okay, anyhow. Hmm. That's odd. Yep, let's check the sprayer out. Then you got it working again. That right there is the problem area right there. We're going to have to put a fan on that. So, we'll keep an eye on it. Just to make sure we don't... It's not soft, but it's got a lot of sap. It's not soft. It's sapping real bad right there. All along through there it is. Feel nothing over in there. Feel nothing there. Okay, I think we're good. Alright, I think we're good to go on that one. Cover up and tape This is my big girl. My big girl. She needs a little, little attention done on her stem here. It's not nothing major. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take that brown stuff that's on there. And we're just gonna clear it off. I don't want it on there just. Yeah, it's kind of, yeah, it's done hardened up. Yeah, it's done hardened up, never mind. It's hard, we don't need to fool with it now. I'll spray a little bit of bleach on it. See how that's wet and it's sapping right there? It's, uh, yeah, you can see how it's see stuff on my finger. But, uh-oh, uh what's that? I didn't see it, okay. Woo. I thought that was a crack in I was about to cry. I was about to cry. Yeah, see, so here's a soft spot right there on her. See it? I thought they're hardening up. Now, if you just leave them alone, so we'll just leave it alone. Alright. Put a little something, I won't cut them. I'll just put a little, little spray of. bleach solution there. Call it good. Call it good. Yeah, she's she's big, man. She's beautiful. Big and beautiful. Big and beautiful. I can't wait to grow this seed out from her next year. I can't wait. I got a, got a little man, that pumpkin's big too. Guys, y'all just seen these things up close, y'all would <laughs> Oh boy. Yep. Alright, let's uh We'll spray some stuff on the rest of them that need it. Oh goodness! Oh yeah, I meant to show y'all. So here's here's what this pumpkin plant looks like. That pumpkin. There's very little leaf in here, as you can tell. There's the stump right there. I'll get up closer in a minute. So there's several vines over there that are secondaries that run along the fence line there. Let me see. Here's the stump. Okay, you can see where she twisted when she was young. She twisted really bad. Here, go back and look at my first videos of these plants this spring. And you'll see. So, she twisted. That was a split that was in her when she twisted. Um, look at all them big roots coming off her. Anyways, uh, she continued to twist and put a bunch of her secondaries. See how, see how it's twisted like that? Put a bunch of her secondaries went off this way. And not many went off that way until he got up. There's one right there. See, this one was supposed to go that way, but it came up and over, and I couldn't get it to go back, so I ran it up that way. This one's twisted, too. That secondary is yes, twisted. That one there ran that way, and then you don't got another one that runs that way until you get up to right there, tip of my finger right there, and then, then they start swapping back and forth, and you, some of them go this way, so there are secondaries over there on that side, but the majority of them, like I say, there ain't much in here because I cleared all those leaves and stuff out. That's what I was doing earlier in the video. 
There's some new growth in here that I let stay and some old growth that was decent still that I let stay. The rest of it is out of here. And uh, that's all that she's got is everything that's up in front of her. That's the only, that's the only thing that she's growing really. The rest of this stuff is just secondaries uh, that are leafless pretty much and some new growth. So that's all that's keeping her alive right now is that up there and she's still pulling the weight that she is. So that's what I thought was pretty amazing was that she she has very little down here and really the probably, I don't know, 12 foot worth of vine is uh, of leaf on the secondary vines are missing. Okay, and, and it's all up there. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty, pretty cool though. She's growing still. I could only imagine that pumpkin's potential had I did better with her. If I'd have done a lot better with her this year, I could only imagine her potential of what she could have been. So anyways, uh, I'm gonna spray the rest of these pumpkins and uh, we're gonna call it an evening. So we appreciate you watching. We'll see you tomorrow right here in the Hollers and Hills of West Virginia. Don't forget to smash that like button. Hit that notification bell. Don't forget to share. Thank you, good sir. You're welcome. And subscribe.